Jonah King from the VNA Waterfront is joining me in studio. Now, the VNA Waterfront has just picked up a very prestigious international award, and Emma is going to tell us about that. Well, congratulations! Thank you. We were very excited. Um, and actually, we were sitting in the office when the news came through, and you just heard so cheers going around the head office because it's great news for us. And the award was for responsible tourism. Yes. So we won the best destination for responsible tourism. Mm. This was at the World Travel Market, which is a big um, international gathering of people in the tourism mm. and in travel London. industry okay. in London. Mm. Yeah. And I think what was so exciting exciting for us was that we were up against some really amazing global destinations and initiatives. So to be the global winner is, is, a, is something quite special. Now what is responsible tourism? Yeah, so I think a lot of people think that responsible tourism is purely about green initiatives and mm -hmm. that absolutely is part of it. But it's wider um, also about sustainable development, which means yeah. a couple of things. So for us, it's about the way that we develop the property. We've obviously got some key historical buildings and points there. Yeah. So it's how we develop them. We're keeping the integrity intact. But it also wider um, things as well. So for us, it's uh, the economic impact. So the amount of jobs that we create, mm -hmm. both by people actually who are employed at the waterfront and also the kind of wider jobs that are created through bringing of tourism um, to the city and to, to the waterfront itself. And then there's also a social aspect as well, which is the more kind of growing of cultural, cultural and social kind of um, change and initi initiative. So for example, we've just launched the Watershed, which is a new, it kind of replaced where we had a, a kind of craft, craft type market. market. And now it's still craft, but it's much more about African design. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. And so for us, that's about supporting lots of small businesses, you know, giving them a place to grow their business mm -hmm. and creating this kind of hub of art and African design. When you say creating jobs, do you have numbers on how many jobs are created um, year by year as these initiatives um, go on? We do. We have, um, I mean, so some of the figures that we've actually just done a new economic impact report, which will mm -hmm. be released. January, so I don't have all the latest figures to yeah. date, but some of the numbers you can look at are um, in 2012, direct jobs of people that were um, employed, by, not by the waterfront he head office, but at the waterfront, mm -hmm. are you looking about 17,000 jobs? Wow. And then when you look at a wider halo effect, obviously that's much more because of the kind of roll-on effect of you know mm -hmm. people coming to the restaurants and, and tourism and so on. Now, yeah. does ecotourism fall into responsible tourism as well, or yes. are they separate? Uh, yes, so that's part of it. But because um, we are a destination rather than a kind of tour guide or facilitating yeah. of tours, obviously there's people within the waterfront and businesses within the wa waterfront who, who host to, to tourists. But for us, the, the echo part was more about how we run the business. So we have a lot, we've actually um, set in a group of people to actually look at how we can make the business so much more eco friendly. So that's everything from, um, you know, uh, reducing water and energy consumption, right through to the kind of bigger things and how we develop the new buildings. So the silo one and silo two buildings, which are the big ones around the, the grain silo that yeah. are being developed. The, the Silo One building has been, is the first and only building in South Africa to be rated by the Green Council, a six star rating. Wow. Which, and that goes right into how the building itself is actually built, you know, how they kind of keep the building cool, how they mm -hmm. keep it warm and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's from the small things to the bigger things.